Hi everyone! Today Pastor Tim is going to be finishing the book of Exodus. Exodus is such an awesome book because we see God rescue his people from slavery, stay with them in the wilderness, and teach them how to trust him and how to follow him. Today we're going to go back to the beginning of Exodus, to the great rescue, and I'm going to read from Exodus 13. And the Lord went before them by day in a pillar of cloud to lead them along the way, and by night in a pillar of fire to give them light, that they might travel by day and by night. The pillar of cloud by day and the pillar of fire by night did not depart from before the people. The Israelites were led to the edge of the Red Sea, but when they got there, they started to panic because the Egyptian army was close behind them. Moses had to go tell the people to not be afraid because God would fight for them and always be by their side. The Israelites just had to wait and watch. So when the Israelites were crossing the Red Sea and they saw that the Egyptians were right behind them, God took the pillar of cloud and the pillar of fire and moved them behind the Israelites to throw the Egyptians into chaos and break down their chariots so the Israelites could make it safely to land. A couple weeks ago, we showed you how to make a cloud in a bottle to represent God's presence. But today, we're going to show you how to make the pillar of fire that went with the pillar of cloud. To make our fire, we're going to use some rubbing alcohol, which is very flammable, and put it into our dish. Once you have a little bit in there, we can light it on fire. You can see the flames from the alcohol that was lit. If we spin the dish, notice not very much happens to those flames. They don't change very much. So we're going to blow it out and try something else. Now we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to put our flaming dish inside of our wicker basket. So there's still rubbing alcohol inside, and we're going to light it on fire again. You can see the flames in the basket, and they look the same as before. But this time, when we spin the basket, you'll see that the flames form a big column in the middle. That's because the mesh basket spins all the air and causes the flame to be caught up in the column of air and it looks like it's a giant tower of fire. The book of Exodus begins with God leading the children of Israel out of Egypt using the cloud and pillar of fire, and it ends saying that God used those two things to lead them all the way into the promised land. The last verse in Exodus says, For the cloud of the Lord was on the tabernacle by day, and fire was in it by night, in the sight of all the house of Israel throughout all of their journeys. Isn't it awesome how God was with the Israelites throughout their entire journey? He was with them when they were scared. He was with them when they were hungry in the wilderness. He was with them when they disobeyed him. He was with them when they built the tabernacle. And we know that he continues to go with them all the way to the promised land. So just like God rescued the Israelites, we know he rescued us from sin. And we also know that he'll never leave us and he'll continue to be with us throughout our own journeys. So let's draw near to the God who made himself near to us today.